See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And my dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <coughs> of Exodus. When it was reported to the king of Egypt that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants changed their mind about them. They exclaimed, What have we done? Why, we have released Israel from our service. So Pharaoh made his chariots ready and mustered his soldiers. 600 first-class chariots, and all the other chariots of Egypt with warriors on them all. So obstinate had the Lord made Pharaoh that he pursued the children of Israel even while they were marching away in triumph. The Egyptians then pursued them, Pharaoh's whole army, his horses, chariots, and charioteers, caught up with them as they lay encamped by the sea at Phi Haroth in front of Baal Safan. Pharaoh was already near when the children of Israel looked up and saw that the Egyptians were on the march in pursuit of them. In great fright they cried out to the Lord, and they complained to Moses, Were there no burial places in Egypt? that you had to bring us out here to die in the desert. Why did you do this to us? Why did you bring us out of Egypt? Did we not tell you this in Egypt when we said, leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians? Far better for us to be the slaves of the Egyptians than to die in the desert. But Moses answered the people, Fear not, stand your ground, and you will see the victory the Lord will win for you today. These Egyptians whom you see today, you will never see again. The Lord himself will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. And you lift up your staff and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the children of Israel may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
our response. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my father, I extol him. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The flood waters covered them, they sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. <clears throat> Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the son of, man, son of man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. I guess the reason why Jesus is not going to give a sign to the scribes and Pharisees is because it wouldn't make much difference. They're intent on doing something to Jesus and they're looking for clues to help them in their devious ways. So if Jesus gives a sign and the sign doesn't happen, then they say, see, he's a false prophet. But you know, we do need signs. We do need to see the action of God and nature in our daily walks, in our work, in our home. We do look for God in signs around us. Those signs lead us closer to the Lord. So we do need signs. Signs will bring us deeper into ourselves and deeper into our faith, will give us the opportunity to explore and to discover new ways of opening ourselves up to the Lord. So signage is good. So let us seek the signs of the Lord. As we walk in nature, let us see where God is. Is God speaking to us in nature? Is God speaking to us at work? Is God speaking to us as we shop? 
is God giving us a sign to open ourselves up, a sign that will bring us closer to the Lord himself. We will now arise and pray the prayers of the faithful. For the church, that she may not fear her enemies as Israel once feared the Egyptians, but stand her ground and wait for the victory the Lord will win for her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for men and women of integrity to speak up for God's commandments and values in the midst of an evil and unfaithful generation, for their courage and faithfulness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who listen to the words of Jesus, who is greater than Jonah and greater than Solomon, that we may take his words to heart and produce good fruit in his sight, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are passing through a time of great trial and pain, that through our loving intercession, they may be given the grace to let the Lord fight for them, keeping their souls quiet in peace and confidence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that the powerful right hand of the Lord may raise up our dear ones who have died, saving them from all evil and leading them into heaven's promised land. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Today we're asked to pray for Peter Cabrelli, Mary Coffey, Paul Tomaszewski, Larry Fannin, Chris Sokolowski, and all those mentioned in our prayer list in the Book of Intentions, and for the cause of Jean-Claude Collin, founder of the Maris for Sainthood, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please pray for the repose of the soul of William Ronodin, father of Debbie Kehoe. May he rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, we ask that you grant these our petitions and all those that we hold in the quiet of our hearts. And we pray these petitions also for your Son, through his mother Mary, as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we ought to eat. Fruit of the earth and work of the hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we ought to eat. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted unto God, the Almighty Father. 
so that what each has offered to the to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord Amen. the Lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God <clears throat> for in goodness you created man and when he was justly condemned and mercy Christ our Lord, through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven, and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together in exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy. sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Anthony, Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him,
Remember us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Pray to prevent these in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from from away to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father. 